listen to my horoscope. It says that I'm way outgoing, a great friend to all my gal pals, and I'm gonna meet a handsome prince who will carry me off on his horse. Right, Chloe, like you touch a horse. I would if there was a prince on it. It also says you're a major drama queen. Uh, that is so untrue. <gasps> I think I just had an out of the blue arterial explosion. Well, mine says I'm strong, sensitive, and a little secretive. And there's a super scorching guy in my future who's so perfect for yours truly. Check this out. Music is my thing, and my style is off the hook. I can't commit to any one guy. When you're this gorgeous, why should you? And I'm, yeah, right. Like, they know what they're talking about. This magazine bites. A control freak? Wow, Sasha. That's practically psychic. I got it. I got it. The latest Crash CD? Better. I got the student internship. The one at Your Thing magazine? You are looking at the new assistant to Miss Burdine Maxwell, Editor-in-Chief. Rockin'! Jade, you get to go to all the runway shows? And watch supermodel meltdowns? And get free passes to all the happening concerts? I sure hope so. Can you believe it? It's my total biggest dream, and it's coming true. Did you see what she was wearing? 911, so mean girl alert. Those two things are called Kirsty and Casey. But everyone at Styles High calls them the Tweedles, because they're twins and seriously evil. Casey's bandage is the remains of her third nose job. Flying objects are just drawn to it. Freaks. Yeah. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Whatever. Whatever. <gasps> Yo, Chloe, I spy your prince coming. That's Cameron. He's kind of shy. You know, the strong, silent type we met in second grade. He's way cute and everything, but I still can't figure him out. Check this out! Uh. Dylan, watch out! Oh! Ah! My new ensemble! My new nose! Ah! <laughs> Are you okay? Hey! In case you didn't notice, my outfit is totally trashed! Don't freak. It was an accident. Don't tell me not to freak, you... you... Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Rewind? Go for it. <laughs> Sweet. Can I try? Are you sure you can handle it? Awesome moves, Chloe. Thanks, Cameron. I've got a lot of cool moves. I mean, on the skateboard. You know, ollies and uh, donkey kicks, 720s and uh, stuff. Yeah. Hey, you think you could teach me a 720 sometime? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Cool. Whatever. Hey, guys, did you hear? Jade's going to be working at Your Thing magazine for the whole summer. Awesome! Hey, what's your thing? Do you know you are talking to the founder, president, editor-in-chief, queen of fashion? You ridiculous, incompetent moron. I want a dozen pair of those peony pink pumps here tomorrow, size 11, and don't give me any more of your lame excuses that you don't have my size. Mother of pink! And what are you supposed to be? I'm Jade, your new student intern. I just want to tell you I am so psyched to be working here with you and your thing. I've got a ton 
ton of ideas for the magazine. Oh, really? I was thinking that maybe we could do a column on street trends, see what's taking off at clubs, do a quiz fest. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Just so we understand each other, I come up with the ideas. Your thing is my magazine, you work for me, and your title is nothing. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to... Ah, my other interns. Two lovely girls. Newsflash. This day is not going well. Mm, pink. My favorite color. Here's your first assignment. And this is what I want you girls to do. Now get busy. Royale and I have some shoe shopping to do, don't we, my little bitty baby boy? Oh, mommy loves her little babies. Neato! It's a fashion assignment. I need you guys to model for me. Well, okay. Oh, Kirstie, it's beautiful. Yeah, give me a supermodel smile. Oh, gorgeous. A little pop. Oh, that was great. Okay, work it. Good. Okay, okay. Jade's turn. Wait a sec. Oh, perfection. Woo! I am just exhausted from all that work. Wow, this is a lot for one person. Maybe you guys could help me out? Sorry, N-O-P. N-O-P? Not, Not our problem. Working over. Dean, everything about her is like so plastic. Totally. She reminds me of that fashion doll that used to hit me with when we were three. Okay, girls, show me the fashion do's and don'ts assignment. Do's? Don'ts. <gasps> Perfection. Maybe they're right. I'm nothing but one big fashion don't. Jade, how's it going? Totally terrible, Angel. Bertine is so mean. She hates me, and guess who I have to work with? The Tweevils. Wow, that's really awful, but try to hang in there. This is your dream, remember? Yeah, you're right. This is my dream. You're such a good friend, Angel. Thanks. No problem, cool cat. I'll check in with you later, okay? Oh, Bertine is so meanie weeny. And Kirsty and Casey are so nasty wasty. <laughs> there you are. Now, where's my mail? It's right here. You have some really rockin' invitations. Look how many. There's one from that... Junk, junk, junk. More junk. Mother of pink. Don't you know junk mail when you see it? I'm wearing my new pumps today, so get these old ones polished. And where's my lunch already? Hello? What? What do you mean, sales of your thing have dropped? Well, that's impossible! What? Um, do you guys know what Bertine likes for lunch? Sure, we'll phone in the order. But it's your turn to pick it up from the deli. Okay, I guess these will have to wait till later. What are you trying to do? Kill
kill me? Make me fat? I only eat greens. But I... Spare me your excuses. You are fired. Hear me? Fired! And not only will you never ever work at this magazine again. You will never ever work at any magazine. Am I making myself quite clear? You are fired for life. In fact, even your children and your grandchildren are fired! 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 My life is so over. <laughs> It's so unfair. All my hopes and dreams destroyed in three hours. Don't worry, Cool Cat. Everything will work out. You have way too much talent not to make it. Jade, you're a fashion superhero. Verdine's the one who's majorly clueless, not you. You guys really think so? Totally. <gasps> now, come on, people. It's time for some serious cheer up. Shopping! Thanks, guys, for really being there for me. You're the best. No prob. That's what best friends are for. Girlfriend 411. Major eyesores ahead. Well, well, if it isn't Jade and her little band of fashion faux pas. Faux pas? Parlez-vous Francais? <gasps> Perfectamente. So, Jade, what are you gonna do now that your career in fashion is, like, so over? Her career isn't so over. It's just beginning. Oh, really? As a fast food delivery girl? <laughs> Ow! My nose! Cool Cat, you wouldn't have learned a thing at this lame old magazine. So yesterday. You know, we should really have our own magazine. Pretty Princess? That's a scorching idea. It is? Totally. I could write an advice column. Dear Chloe, fashion emergency. And I can write about trends, where to hang, where to work it, and where to learn the latest poses. And I can be the editor. Funny boo. The music editor. I'd review what's down and slamming and gets everybody jamming. And I'd be the most cutting edge lifestyle editor! Wait a sec. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? I am so thinking what you're thinking. You're kidding, right? No way kidding. Let's start, start our own team, team magazine! <laughs> Wait! Reality check? What about an office? No way we can afford one. I'll have to babysit every night, even on weekends, and... Chill, Angel. Let me work it. Here we are! Love it! Feel it! Hate it! Huh? It's Burdine's building. If she sees me, I'm beyond dead. Chill, we got you back. I am so glad to be out of there. What's with the crown thing? Burdine likes to think of herself as the reigning queen of fashion. More like the queen of mean. Miss Queen Burdine is going down. Okay, ah! guys, this is it. Get ready to feast your eyes on the most totally slamming loft in all downtown. Sasha, you can't be serious. Okay, so the place needs a little makeover. Okay, a serious makeover. <sighs> this place is so beyond help. Yo, Drama Mama, snap out of it. We survived seventh grade, we can survive this. A little Primo and paint. Relocate a few shells. Dramatize the area over here. Set up a computer bank. And girlfriends, we're happening. Let's hit it! Feeling good.
Hey, if your magazine's half as good as your office, it's gonna be great. And hey, if you need me to attend any parties with supermodels, my cell's on 24-7. Goodbye, Dylan. Ew! Ew! What an interesting artifact. They're probably circa 1988. They're Burdine's totally twisted idea of fashion. She gave them to me to get polished, and I forgot to give them back. At least we'll never show anything that vomitious in our magazine. You losers are starting a magazine? <gasps> What's it about? How to be a loser? No, it's a fashion magazine. With the way you spazzes dress? What are you gonna call it? Teen Hurl? <laughs> yeah. Just wait till Berdine finds out you guys are trying to rip off your thing. Our thing won't be anything like your thing. Sorry we won't be around to make you get fired in less than a day, but I'm sure you'll mess things up all by yourself. Yeah, and then you'll all have to fire each other. <laughs> Good one, Casey! Excuse us, but we have work to do. And you have dry cleaning to do. Excuse me? The wet paint? <gasps> you brats! You totally set me up! Come on, Casey, let's get out of here before they do something to me! I never want to see those girls again. Then avoid the bathroom between 1.30 and 2. That's their disperdine fest. That's very interesting. Oh, pretty princess, what are you thinking? I think I have a zit under here. Hot zit! My nose job isn't as bad as Bertine's, is it? Are you kidding? Hers is all pointy and bony like an icky bird beak. Oh, do you think Birdface has had other work done? Totally. I bet she's had lipo and a facelift and her lips silicone. Ugh, that's why they look like big, fat, rotting sausages. How old do you think she is? She is so ancient, at least 30. It was her! I'd know those classic pink pumps anywhere. I bet she heard everything. What are we gonna do? <gasps> Cry. Totally even the score. Mission accomplished. Well? We were like so sorry. We didn't mean any of those things that we said. We don't really think that your lips look like big fat rotting sausages. <laughs> or that you have a pointy, bony, icky bird beak nose. And that you're 30. 30? You think I'm 30? My nose. Please don't hurt my nose. Wrong shoes. Uh oh. Run for it! <laughs> Any ideas on what to call our fab new magazine? How about Sasha? You guys, I was only playing with you. We need something styling with attitude. That's us! First article completed. Mean Girls Busted. Don't get mad, get even. Uh, you brats! Brats! That's what Berdine and the Tweevils call us. So, we make it our own. Give it some attitude. But maybe a little too much attitude? I got it. Hold on. Brats! Awesome. Let's think about our first major scoop. Say no more. I just happened to have saved all those invites for Dean made me toss. You are not going to believe this. Super stylin' fashion reporter Jade scoops the biggest scoop of all scoops ever. Invitations to the exclusive opening of Pins, the most half new punk rock club, and to the Save the Universe benefit concert. No way! Every rock star in the world is going to be there. All expense paid, accommodations included, on a private jet and a five-star luxury hotel suite in London! <laughs> <laughs> we rock! We're hot! We're the girls with a passion for fashion! And we're going to London! This is really happening. Our very own magazine. You 
better believe it. This trip is going to be so awesome, Cameron. Maybe we can see Big Ben together. Sure, if we have time. Excuse me, but I do believe you're in my seat. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. My mistake. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Nigel Forrester, the ninth Duke of Lessex. Hottie alert. My horoscope did say a handsome prince would carry me away on a horse, but a cute duke on a private jet works for me. And I'm Chloe. Nice to meet you. Huh. Relax, dude. It's only a 10-hour flight. Thanks, Dillman. Pins is supposed to be the most super styling punk club ever. And the benefit concert is gonna be scorching. Every major rock star will be there. Poor Berdine. She's so clueless. She has no idea she threw out the party invitations of the year. Give me that, you ugly furball! You idiot interns. How dare you let me let Jade throw out the invitations of the year? But, but we weren't even in the office. Yeah! Spare me your lame excuses. Your thing will not be outscooped by that amateur brat magazine, or I'll have you two hung upside down by your shoe straps. <laughs> now, how come my suitcases aren't packed already? Hurry up, chop, chop. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seatbelts. We're about to begin our descent into London Heathrow International Airport. England, here we come. Look, I can see Big Ben. If I may be so bold, it would be an honor to show you Big Ben tomorrow. Really? <laughs> This lobby is off the hook. Totally. Here it is. Welcome to the Q Hotel Super Storling Supremo Suite. Wow, this place is slamming. Check this out. <laughs> Can you believe this place? Feel it. Wow, check out the view. Forget the view. Let's scoop this style and city. Yes! London, here we come! Living it up, yeah, we're gonna have fun. Living it up, yeah, living it up, yeah. Living it up, yeah, we're getting it done. Living it up, yeah, living it up, yeah. Getting into something, got a lot of fun to do. Always getting ready for some more. Checking out the situation, always on the move. Something new is what we're looking for. and I will scope out the 10 best places to find the cutest guys. Cameron and Dylan are going to cover sports and entertainment. And Jade and I will scoop the London fashion scene. I've already mapped out all the super styling places I want to go today. Sasha, you mean where we want to go? Hey, Carnaby Street's not on here. Chill, cool cat. We'll get to it. Fine. Come on, pretty princess. Let's hit the London Eye. It's supposed to be London's hottest hangout. I am so there. That must be my mother. Again. Mom, I am not wearing those rubber boots you snuck in my suitcase. Nigel, hi. Oh my gosh, it's him. Talk, girl. Of course I remember you. Right now? Sure, I'm not doing anything. See you in 10. Oh no, I've got a date with Nigel and only five minutes to accessorize. Um, Angel, the London Eye. We'll check it out in the morning, okay? Sure. Thanks, Yaz. You rock. Oh, I've got a nosebleed. Corkin. 
Mother of Pink, would you please control your fat mutt? Excuse me, but your pathetic hairy rat is attacking my Aussie. Stuff it, Tubbo. Come on, Aussie. Let's leave the nasty woman and her mongrel alone. Sit. Royal, sit. <laughs> Mother of Pink! <laughs> Thank you for the corsage, Nigel. It's beautiful. Not nearly as beautiful as you, my pretty princess. You know, I, I don't believe I've ever felt this way about a girl before. <laughs> Nigel, we just met. What, you don't believe in love at first sight? Ah, a waltz. Shall we dance? <laughs> Check. Have I really found my Prince Charming? Man, how do the Brits channel surf with only five TV channels? Chloe, how is your date with Prince Charming? Prince Charming? Tell us everything. Spill it. It was amazing. We went to a really romantic restaurant, had a perfect dinner, and then we waltzed. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. We're still on for the eye tomorrow morning, right? <gasps> oh, maybe later in the day, Nigel invited me to his family's castle. And, well, when he called me his pretty princess, I just couldn't say no. Pretty princess? <laughs> Nigel, your place is so awesome. Come now, darling, keep your eye on the ball. Yasmin, what's up? What's up? It's almost four o'clock. You were supposed to meet me here at three to go check out the London Eye. Oh, yes. I am so sorry. I completely spaced. Um, I can probably make it in an hour or two. Forget it. I'll do the story all by myself. Later. Hi, cutie. Um... Are you lost? Oh, your name's Ozzy. You're a sweetie, aren't you, Ozzy? I know just how you feel. I've lost my best friend, too. Come on, sweetie. Let's go before we get soaked. Hey, Georgie girl. I've got to do a movie review for the Hot New Bratz magazine. Want to come? OK. What would you like to see? What about Zombie Crusher 2? Man, Zombie Crusher 1 was so tight! That part where the head exploded was like just, oh man, it was just gross! I am Bertine Maxwell, the founder, president, editor-in-chief of Your Thing magazine and the Queen of fashion, and I demand my royal sweet. No! Mother of Pink, you call this a room? Huh, for a dog, maybe. time. Uh-oh. No more memory. But I haven't even taken one shot. You will. Then let's jam. I plan the whole day and I don't want to miss our magazine deadline. You plan the whole day without consulting me? Jade, will you chill already? I know what I'm doing. Ugh, right. Coolest landmarks. Hitch a ride on the world's largest observation wheel. Guys, I'm so glad you're here. Chloe's totally bailed on me. I found the cutest little... 
dog? Can you believe those fashion challenge brats named a magazine after themselves? Those brazen brats will pay for this. All of this! Stealing our room, daring to start a rival fashion magazine, having the audacity to try to outscoop us! Pay attention to me when I'm ranting. I will get those girls and put their rotten little magazine out of business, even if it kills you! They cannot and will not succeed. Do you understand? And what is that horrible smell of smoke? Oh, mother of pink! I'm going to order a pot of tea. Chloe, you hate tea? And what's with your voice? I've grown quite fond right, of... Right. One pot of tea, please. As I was saying, croquet requires intense concentration. Isn't that true, pretty princess? I don't know. I've never played. Huh? Nigel, Yasmin's nickname is also Pretty Princess. Really? I'd say you're more of a... Uh, peaches. Peaches? I'll see you tomorrow, Pretty Princess. Cheerio, Peaches. Cheerio. See you tomorrow, Nigel. Isn't he awesome? Totally awesome. Later. Cool Cat, if you got something to say to me, Say it. Fine. You are the biggest, bossiest control freak I've ever met. You're even worse than Bertine. Come on, guys, chill. Like, you know what's going on? You haven't even been around. No kidding. Yasmin's had to cover every hot spot by herself. Yasmin doesn't mind. Yes, I do. I mean, next thing you know, you'll be telling us you can't make the opening of pins. <gasps> Oh, I totally spaced. Nigel's brother's giving a dinner party tomorrow and I promised I'd go. One of the main reasons we came to London was to get that scoop for our new magazine. 911 communication breakdown. How can I expect even my best friends to understand? No one knows the pain, the agony I'm going through. Torn between my very first Prince Charming, I mean Duke Charming, and my three best friends forever, What's a teenage drama queen to do? Bad news, guys. Burdine and the Tweevils are here. What's going on? Girl stuff. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one who gets me. It doesn't seem to matter what I say. Jade's pictures. Wow, they're super styling. Nigel, hi. You remember Sasha? Hey. Whatever. My friends are covering the opening of this happening new punk rock club for our magazine. We could go there after the dinner party. We'll discuss it later. Now hurry up and get dressed. We don't want to be late. Um, I am dressed. Dressed? Darling, you can't be serious. Surely you must have something that's a little more elegant and understated. You know, like what those two lovely girls eavesdropping outside your door are wearing. What? Ow! My nose! Oh, hi. We were just passing by. When you became glued to our door? It's really him! Nigel Forrester, Duke of Lessex! Correction, I'm Nigel Forrester, the ninth Duke of Lessex. I like so like your tie. And I like so love your taste. <laughs> Break it up, sisters. Mutual admiration time is over. I hardly think such rude behavior was called for. Especially since those girls were rather attractive. Nigel? Uh, but not as attractive as you, my pretty princess. Now, tally on, we really must be going. Ew! Hey, Cool Cat, I've been working on a photo layout and I need your opinion. Our layout? Bunny Boo, you used all my pictures. Yours were way better. Thanks. I'm sorry about everything. That's okay, Sasha. Apology accepted. Best friends again? Forever. Forever.
Did I miss something? Come on, we gotta look totally punkalicious for the opening of pins. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Shopping! Shopping. Look around, head for the underground, getting ready to rock. So punk out, that's what it's all about. We're at the party spot. Let's keep it pretty. In case you've forgotten, there's a party inside. I was just taking five. You know, the pins opening starts at... Oh, really, Chloe? I wouldn't be caught dead at some tacky punk rock club. I mean, it's so low class. I don't think so. Punk clubs rule. Besides, I was hanging out with my friends. Those misfits? Oh, come now, pretty princess. They're so uncouth. You just don't get them, you royal jerk! And you, pretty princess, are way out of line! Stop calling me pretty princess! My friends call me Angel. Dookie, there you are! This balcony is, like, so beautiful. Not nearly as beautiful as you, my pretty princess. You know, I, I don't believe I've ever felt this way about a girl before. Dookie, we've just met! You don't believe in love at first sight? Look, I can see Big Ben! Ah! Cheerio! something my shoe you found it hold on angel take pictures of guys as well as girls. Our readers will want to see both. Got it! Hi, guys. Chloe! Guys, I've had an over-the-top emotional breakthrough. These past few days, I haven't been true to myself or to you. I am so sorry. I can totally understand if you never want to talk to me again. Girls, I think our resident drama mama is back. Wow, you guys look so pretty and punk. Thanks. This is what we're wearing to the opening of pins tonight. And Angel, so are you. I can't believe it! You got that for me? You know, Yasmin, there really is only one pretty princess. And there's only one Angel. Best friends. Forever. They're doing it again. So, do we have a club to scoop or what? Yeah! yeah. Hi, Six with Bratz? I mean, your thing, magazine? I demand that you have these brats arrested for impersonation. Call the police. No! Chop, chop! You found Ozzy! <laughs> Major celebrity sighting! Everybody, just act cool. <gasps> Emergency huddle! Oh my gosh! No way. It's Byron Powell, the judge from America Rocks. My favorite show! Chill, he's coming this way. I've been worried sick about him. You're his owner? Mother of pink. Arrest them. I want the whole lot of them handcuffed and... Yeah. It's that absolutely horrific woman from the plane. Follow me. I brought a few friends. You do realize, Edgar, that those dreadful ladies are in gross violation of the dress code? Punk doesn't mix with pink. Do you know who I am? You can't do this. I am Bernie Maxwell, the founder of 
President editor in chief. Strike one for the brats. Rocking. Awesome. So how can I reward you for taking care of Ozzy? How about an interview for a new teen magazine? You know, I just signed Crash. They're headlining the Save the Universe benefit concert tomorrow night. We've got tickets. Then how would you like backstage passes and an interview with me after the show? Ah! Yes! Ah! Yes! Shall we dance? Everybody